yeah, it was really cool to uh, try and riff off some of the ideas that we had for this. Like, oh, what if it's like raining and cloudy? Um, and like the weather API that you'll see later, we had like had so much data that we could play with like wind miles per hour and snow and all these things. And it's like, okay, we have to really pare it down because uh, we could get this really out of hand quickly. So um, yeah, this, this was a super fun project. Um, cool, so I'll go ahead and uh, share my screen now. Um, all right, so uh, hopefully this is uh, kind of visible to everyone, but uh, just some housekeeping things to start off with. Uh, you'll find in the YouTube description box below the links to both the source code for the project as well as the Rive community asset. Um, so uh, feel free to take a look at those if you want to check out the code. Um, in the in the repo, we've open sourced this. It's called Weather App Mobile. There's two folders here. We're going to be working in Bear Weather App, which is basically the skeleton project for this React Native project. Excuse me. And um, and then there's also Weather App, which is the completed version with all the Weather App logic and um, Rive integration and all that stuff. So um, if you want to code along, feel free to pull down the project and uh, check out the Bear Weather App. There's a bunch of to-do comments in the source code uh, where we'll be filling in some uh, blanks. Or if you just want to check out the final product, check out that Weather App folder. Um, and again, we are working with the React Native runtime today to integrate Rive files into our projects. Um, but just as a refresher, there are a number of different runtimes uh, that Rive has um, where you can bring your Rive files and animations into a number of different platforms. So uh, the last workshop uh, two weeks ago, we used the Flutter runtime to build a small game. Uh, but there's also iOS, Android, React, Web, a bunch of other ones. And we're continuing to put out more. So um, stay tuned on, on that front. You can find this at help.rive.app. This is our kind of documentation center for all things on how to use Rive um, from a design perspective in the editor, as well as the runtime perspective for looking at the APIs and such. Um, but yeah, if you go into the runtime uh, library section and click on React Native, you'll see this kind of overview page of how to get started pretty quickly. Um, and then to get Rive assets into, um, into the project, uh, you're going to go into this Rive file, into a Rive file, uh, download for the newest front time, and then I'm going to drag over my Xcode project. If you look in the Bear Weather app, you'll see this iOS folder with the Xcode project here. Um, if you open that up in Xcode, we want to add an assets folder and drag and drop that uh, weather app.riv file into the assets and add that to our target. So that's how we add the assets to our asset bundle. And you would do something similar if you were working with Android, too. Um, cool. So uh, that's just some uh, little housekeeping things. Um, if you go into the Bear Weather app, you'll notice that a lot of this scaffolding project uh, is auto-generated, but mo the bulk of the project is going to be in this app.js file. Um, this houses a lot of the logic for where we're going to pull in the weather API data um, and integrate Rive as well. And you'll notice that a lot of this is already filled in. Um, this is intentional for uh, the purposes of this workshop, so we don't have to spend too much time fussing around with styles um, and the placement of UI components and such, because that could take quite a while. So um, <laughs> we're, we're going to pare things down and just focus mainly on the Rive integration and um, the API integration as well. Now, if you're familiar with React or React Native, um, a lot of the syntax will seem familiar. Um, this kind of does assume that you have some little bit working knowledge of um, JavaScript and um, how, how React works. But if not, feel free to check out the React or React Native documentation to understand things like use state, hooks, um, and all the like. We have some state variables here for tracking things, such as uh, the city search. So when you're searching for a city, um, this is, by the way, the bare weather app um, in its bare bones when you start running it. Um, we have a state variable for the city that we're going to um, pull weather from. We have this state variable is loading data for telling whether or not uh, we're loading data in or finished. Uh, a state variable for weather data when we pull in the weather data so we have a place to pull from. And then we have this highlighted time state variable, which is going to um, if you remember, we had that scrolling view of hours. And when we click on an hour, we want to highlight that forecast. And so we're going to store the state for that uh, specific hour in this highlighted time variable. 
And then we have a number of uh, kind of skeleton functions here where we'll fill in the blanks. Basically, is like getting the weather data. Um, there's some here that's already filled out, like getting city data as we're searching for new cities. Um, and then uh, the actual part where we build the UI is this return statement where we're using a bunch of React Native components from their um, library uh, to fill in a lot of the blanks here. For example, filling in the, uh, the city, the, the forecast, and then building that scroll view of the hours and forecast there. So again, we don't want to fuss along with all those um, minor details. Uh, in, in your own time, you can check out some of the styles here and how some of the UI was placed to get a better understanding of um, the fuller picture of this. So anyway, that's that's just an overview of what we're going to be building, uh, or sorry, uh, where we're going to be building. So where I want to start is uh, taking a look at integrating Rive. So if we go back to our React Native docs, um, you'll see the first step is to NPM or Yarn install the Rive React Native library. Um, so this is our runtime library. It's open source. You can check out the repo. There's a link at the uh, below here. Um, in the both of these projects, they're already included um, in the package JSON, so we don't have to npm install them here. So let's start with importing the Rive component, as you can see in step three. Um, this is what we're going to render out. Rive React Native. Cool. And in order to get fuller functionality into the API, such as setting inputs for those state machines that you saw in Michael and Robert's state machine, we are going to uh, create a ref. Um, you'll see uh, in the, the state machine docs here, if you look in the React Native tab, um, we, we have to use a ref into this Rive component in order to get fuller functionality um, to control the Rive component API. So. I'm going to create a ref here. And again, if you're not familiar with a ref, um, you can check out the React docs for that. So I'm just going to create rive ref is equal to use ref. And we'll set that in a bit. Now I'm going to go down into our UI render uh, return statement, take out this to do, and I'm going to place that rive component that we just imported. Um, and so if you look in the docs here, uh, we have a number of props that you can set on this component um, for a lot of configuration. I won't go into all of them, but I'll go into some of them that we're going to set. So um, we're going to work with the resource name. This is how uh, we set the Rive file into our Rive component, basically associating that Rive file that we put in that iOS bundle um, into our app. And this is just a string. Um, it takes a string of the RIV file without the .rib extension. So for us, this is just weather app. Um, the other thing I want to set is the artboard name. And this is going to be uh, the name of the artboard we want to show. Uh, for now, let's start with Michael's. So uh, we'll find the artboard name in the editor here. Um, Michael's is Proto1, Robert's is Proto2. So I'm going to do uh, Proto1. I also want to set up the state machine name. Uh, this is, you can find that state machine name in the animations tab here. So this is state machine one. I'm also going to set the auto play. Uh, this is, oh, this is regular case. Um, and this is basically going to say, hey, kick off the state machine as soon as this Rive component renders and I load in the Rive file. I added some styles below um, for this uh, component, so I'm just going to add that there. Um, two more things here. I want to set the ref for this Rive component. Again, uh, the ref is basically the gateway into tapping into further functionality for the Rive component. If you're simply just showing off a state machine with, for example, listeners that you don't need to make like control inputs with code, um, all you really need is this Rive component. You don't need that ref. Or if you have a simple animation, same same idea. But if you want to control the inputs and things like that, um, you want to have that ref available. So I'm going to set Rive ref here. And then the last thing I want to set is fit. Um, you can read more about fit and uh, layout options in our docs. Um, basically, I want to make it so that the canvas of the Rive component takes up the entire uh, height of the view. 
So in order to do that, I'm going to set fit is equal to fit dot fit height. And this fit that I uh, it auto imported, thanks to VS Code, um, is, is from the uh, Rive React Native Library. Cool. So if I go ahead and save that, um, I got an error. Oh, I, I always do this. X. Cool. All right. So I've got Michael's kind of base animation here um, in, the, in the default state. It's kicking off the state machine. We're not doing anything with it yet. And obviously, we're not loading in weather data. Um, but we got the canvas to be uh, expanding to the full height of the screen. Um, so it's looking a little more interesting. 